cabeza
tunashukuru bwana tunashukuru jina la Kristo mwanao ninaalika uwepo wako mahali hapo bwana ushuke ukaonekane vita vimechacha tumefika hapa bwana na kila mlango imejifunga kila mlango imejifunga na maadui wamesusunguka kila kona wametangaza vita kwa kila njia na hatuna msaada wengine isipokuwa ni wewe bwana sasa kubali ibada hii na ukubali kutubu kwa mtumishi wako basi jina lako litulikana na haki unaponena tumefika Nairobi nime forward all cases in your hands lord naomba tu huruma yako kama ulivyo hurumia yule mwanamke msamalia basi ikawekwa nyumba hii kitu kimoja na kuahidi ni kwamba hautakosa mama na mzee na kijana aliye tayari shuka tu kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu na dhambi zetu haziwezi kukuzuia kushuka kwa maana umetuumba na uko na uwezo juu ya moto uko na uwezo Holy Spirit of the Lord the whole nation is waiting to hear from you the whole nation is waiting to hear from you respond now my father respond now lord let the whole nation know that you are the lord and you have the power thank you jesus asante ni kwa jina la Yesu Kristo bwana wetu tumeomba na mtu aseme amen tumpatie bwana sadaka ya makofi ah uh, ngekuwa ni vizuri uh, watu wajue siku ya leo ni muhimu sana ukaleta sadaka yako ya ibada hii sababu siku ya leo ndio inabeba ibada zote za kesho na kuendelea the whole week <coughs> ukaleta sadaka yako uwekele hapo ibada zote za wiki hii zinafuatwa na zinatafutwa na juma juma, juma tano is a very big ministry that's why you can see many people wameshidwa kusimama kwa their position na nitakuwa nafundisha na god willing i will change some of the things i will change some of the things kudigana na vile ambavyo nitasikia bwana akinisaidia ah wale wako nyumbani kesho ni siku ya alhamisi that's why tumekutana hapa majina yangu ni James Maina na ninampenda Yesu mimi ni muhubiri na ni muimbaji ni muhubiri asiyejua kusoma na asiyejua kuandika na asiye na jina katika nchi ya Kenya na asiyejulikana hata na wakubwa labda wakubwa wa polisi but the less i don't have chance but i thank god for whom i am Nataka kuwakaribisha kwenye kazi ambayo imeachiriwa sasa. Uh, destiny mpya imeanzisha, imeanza. Na very soon mtaona mambo makubwa ambayo Mungu anakwenda kutenda. Kumbuka tarehe ishirini mwezi wa kumi. Hii yote ni matayarisho. Bwana hajaniambia ni nini hicho lakini aliniambia tu hivyo. Kaniambia kutoka hapo all the way mpaka mwezi wa kumi tarehe ishirini Sasa fugua macho yako utaona hapa katikati tunaendelea bwana anaendelea kufanya kazi na anaendelea kuinua wa huduma hamwezi saa hizi mkajua huduma yangu sababu hawa ni wazee wamecha choka na watu wezi badilisha watu wazee but 10 years to come 15 years utaona wahubiri wanajaa saa hizi nimeona nime na gita nimeona yule wa voi nimeona mwingine yuko hapa nimeona mwingine yuko hapa nimeona mwingine yuko kawangware Gojea 15 years you will see my seed now. Utaona the my seed. Sababu hao watu nimewakuta ni wazee. Na uwezi kumbadilisha ni gumu sana kubadilisha mzee kama kuvua mtu aliyekufa. Na nataka kufundisha tu habari za ministry. Na wale mnanitazama makosa yangu mjifundishe nayo sababu sijaenda theological college na sitaenda. I'm the founder of this. I'm the founder of this ministry. Kama kuna mahali makosa wewe utaangalia utarekebisha hiyo nimeandika vitabu. Kama kuna mahali niliwacha wewe utatengeneza hapo. But the less 
I'm getting from the Lord. Kama kutakuwa na mwingine atapewa zaidi ya hiyo. Kuna vitu ambavyo unataka kufanywa. Things to be done. Kwanza Yes. Kuna vitu ambavyo Bwana amenihimiza. Ni lazima zitendwe ili huduma iweze kusimama. Uh, kuna a lot of confusion in the spirit world. Kuna wale wasiojua kitu na wana pretendi wao ndio wanajua zaidi. Kuna wale ambao hata si manabii ni waogo. Lakini wana pretendi wao ndio manabii wa ukweli. Kwa hivyo ukija kuingia hapo unaonekana wewe kama ni fake. Sababu nayo dunia hii ina mambo zake. Dunia iko na manabii zake. Ina watu ambao watakaoogea vile dunia inataka. Ina manabii wake ambao watakwambia that's not wrong. Hiyo si shida, hiyo si kusubua chana na hiyo mambo hawa wengine. Nitakusomea hapa. Lakini ili tuweze kuwa na 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 strong foundation Lazima tujue dani ya kanisa. Dani ya kanisa ni nani yuko hapa? Sababu ile shida niko nayo kubwa jana nilikuwa naomba Mungu. Nimekuwa nikiambia Mungu anisaidie na wateda kazi. Sababu wateda kazi kama hauna wateda kazi basi itabidi we upike chakula na we upeleke chakula kwa mesa. Wakimaliza kukula uchukue masahani tena ukaoshe. Sababu hauna wateda kazi. Lakini kama utakuwa na wateda kazi abao ni wateda kazi walio na roho yako wasiwe na roho yao maana wakiwa na roho yao kila akikaka anataka kuangalia huko Madika nasema wakaenda wakachiba visima sio Isaka alichiba visima ni wale walichimbua visima wafanyikazi wake walikuwa ni wazuri wakachibua visima maji kapatikana wale wakangangania wakaja tena wakachiba ingine mpaka ya mwisho wakachiba kingine abacho Isaka akasema sasa kitaitwa freedom ni Isaka inasema katika Genesis wakati Ruth alipoenda akashikwa kule maandiko yanasema Ibrahimu alikuwa na watu 318 wana walizaliwa kwake take this word wana waliozaliwa kwake 318 hatogei mambo ya Isaka tunaogea watu wengine wanaitwa wana waliozaliwa kwake na hao ndio alienda nao akapigana na wafalme wanne wana waliozaliwa kwake walikuwa 318 katika namba si 11 16 anasema Mungu akamwambia Musa lete watu sabini wasimame karibu na wewe niwapatie ni the same spirit huko nayo msiende mkakobana kwa barabara hizi sarakasi unaona is not god is some are not genuine from the one na ni vizuri imetendekea kwangu na ikatendeka sasa kuliko itendeke after many years wana hawa sabini inasema madiko ni wafanye kazi pamoja na wewe usifanye peke yako hakuna msiana na yasa geuka akuwe ni mwanaume na hakuna mwanaume na yasa geuka akawa ni mwanamke mtu aliyeitwa kwa hiyo wito awezi badilisha Awezi odoka hapo awezi hizi was father Sasa shida ile iliyoko ni kwamba vile Mungu amenisukumzia ni kwamba 90, 98% ya wale watu wanaokuja kwa mesa ya Bwana wale wanaokuja kutafuta wacha hapa all over ni watu wanaotaka blessing wanaotaka financial breakthrough wanaotaka kuolewa ama kuoa watu ambao ni wagojwa watu ambao wananyogwa usiku watu ambao wako rejected bidii yao yote ni hiyo na kwa hivyo saa hiyo kitu itaondoka nguvu za huyo mtu zinaondoka hutamuona tena akimwaga machosi hutamuona tena akilauka mwani glory hutamuona tena akienda kwa mkesha sababu shida yake alishaipata lakini wale ambao Mungu anataka katika Joshua 8 Joshua 8 number 1 maandiko yanasema Mungu akamwambia Joshua chukua askari zako uende nao kule mji wa Ai maana nimekwisha kupatia wewe askari askari ambao utaenda nao 
watu ambao wako na spirit of that church watu ambao hawako kwa spirit ya church huyo mhubiri akifa hiyo kanisa huwa inakwisha huyo mhubiri akitoka kanisani aende kanisa ingine wanahamaka naye lakini wale mnasemaga ni wa dini wanabaki hapo hata pasta kaida transfer wanabaki wakilea dini yao hapo that is the different of the two watu waliozaliwa kwa dini hiyo kuilea mpaka ipate kiwaja kuilea mpaka wapate waache madhabahu awawesi odoka pasta akikufa awawesi odoka kwa sababu whatever happened because they are called to build that structure Sasa Mungu akamwambia Gideoni Nimeogea Joshua 8 Joshua Judges 7 inasema hivi Mungu akamwambia watu hawa ni watu wengi sana Hii watu uko nao ni watu wengi sana they were more than 38000 ama 32000 Akamwambia hii watu ni wengi sana hata sasa mko watu wengi sana Mko watu wengi sana I want just few people ambao wako na knowledge ya Mungu ambao yeye yeah, akitebea hasikizi bwe hazinaogea all over the world not only nganga look about oyo kilome look about tb joshua look about uh, even ben hin ni kawaida ya dunia kuropokwa kwa sababu ya watumishi wa Mungu but i thank god i don't like to answer anybody now sitaki kujibiana na wagaga sasa i want to keep quiet and preach the gospel then we shall see kwani atuko America we are Kenyan so tutaona tutaona who is who is with God na hata Yesu akamwambia wale watu walipoenda walipotimwa na Johana kwenda kumuliza kama ni wewe aliwaambia Adam kamwambie kazi na mwambie vile mnaona mwambie wagojo wanaponywa wakampelekea ripoti hiyo Mungu akamwambia Gideon watu hawa uko nao ni watu wengi sana peleka watu wakakunywa maji No kabla ya kupeleka kwa maji akawaambia abia kila mtu alie na uoga mtu yote alie na uoga arudi maana utakwenda kutuletea mambo ya pressure kwa mlima huko kwenda nyumbani rudi uliza mtu ambaye amewa juice na hajapata mtoto we rudi Uka, ukazae na mke wako sababu ataenda kusimika simika kule kwa mlima wakachujwa ya kwanza hiyo sababu you can't go to the battle with the two two spirit ye dio kimezuia huduma yako kulipuka sababu so, you are divided you are not serious in god's matter wakabaki akamwambia hata sasa ni wengi hawa peleka watu mtoni wakunywe maji wengine wakala balaba wengine wakala balaba kuna tabia hii haitakani kule kwa, kwa, kwa vita ya kwenda kula balaba vitu huko tabio hawa warudi wakabaki 300 sasa akamwambia hawa ndio nitakwenda kupigania na wewe. Nitaweka hiyo watu kwa mikono yako. Kuna watu Mungu anatafuta. Ametoka mtu all the way from Mombasa. All the way from Mombasa. Kaja kaniambia mimi nimesikia kwa TV ukisema unataka watenda kazi. Give me that position. Igawa ninakaa Mombasa na hii ni sadaka yangu. Sijui ni 30,000. Narudi Mombasa leo leo nilikuwa nimekuja tu kukwambia onipe position hiyo nikamwambia i thank god sababu jana nimeambia mungu i want soldiers wagojwa watakuja kesho hapa tutapiga makofi wagojwa but i want soldiers i want some people who have god in them because of the others not because of sina shamba not because of mke wangu sijui hana mtoto ni mtu ambaye ana mungu kama jawabu kujibu wale watu wengine That's God is, is, is looking. Mtu ambaye atakuwa na Mungu ambaye watu wakuja watafuta Mungu kwa huyo mtu. That's what God want. Akaja kaniambia namba yangu ni hii, nipe namba yako, nitakuwa nikileta sadaka zangu na nitakuwa nikikwambia nikikuja, nikampatia prayer card. Kaambia enda na hii. Kaniambia mimi nimesikia tu kile unahitaji wewe, unahitaji watu ambao watakuwa soja wako hata kama hawatakuwa Nairobi watakuwa soja wako nikamwambia you are the first person wale watu wakabaki 
watu mia tatu na mungu akamwambia those who are going to work together they must have one faith and they must have an agreement to work together if not Satan will use the less wale watu watafanya kazi ya mungu kwa pamoja lazima hawa na imani moja kama ni kuhonyoa kihara wanyoa wote kama ni kunyoa muhuko wanyoa muhuko moja akinyoa kweda hii moja akweda hivi the end of the day shetani atapitia hiyo kajia kuna mama amekuja kuniona leo kadebia for five years amenishagaza sana ni mushirika wa hapa maana nimekuwa nikitafuta ni kitu gani kinaendelea kaniambia mimi hizo mambo yote watu wanaota hapo mimi naziotaka na sijawahi kujaribu kukuja kwako nikija mimi nakaaga bali hiyo mambo yote watu wanaotaka mimi naziotaka hata chochote kinaoto hapa ninaota nikikula nyama nikikula watu sasa niambie mshirika kama yule akiwa na for five years the devil is using that channel lakini mambo mengine lazima utapitia sababu kama hutapitia itajulikana namna gani kama hutapitia wewe ambaye mwenye gufu na wale ambao ni wadogo nani ataandika kitabu Paulo hawezi kurudi nani ataandika kitabu atuambie kuna hizo vitu so wale watakao simama na ministry ninaogea na entire world lazima wawe na one heart with that bishop wawe na roho moja na huyo mtu wa Mungu na wawe na maono moja na yeye sasa Mungu akija atatoa hiyo roho iko kwa huyo mzee ataweka kwa hiyo watu lakini ukiamuka tu wewe useme unasikia kwenda kawagware wina anasikia kwenda huko hata kama ni mke na mume lazima wawe na one call and one vision na Mungu hawezi kuja abia te mke wangu ate anaenda kuhubiri Amerika na mimi naenda kuhubiri Tanganyika na, na watoto nao it doesn't work like that sasa Mungu anatafuta watu ambao wata, wataweza ku kuamua wao wenyewe waamue ndio wito ishuke take this word akawakuta wakifua samaki we kijana we na we wacheni kufua samaki nitawafanya muwe wavuvu wa watu wakawacha nyavu zao ni mpaka huyo mtu kwanza akubali bigu ya Mungu hailasimishi mtu kama puda Ati, uta, kama hautawasha kazi tutaua wewe no ni asikia wito sasa awache number two ni wale wataita mugu wenyewe waita mungu kwa, kwa matendo yao kama Gideon hajaitwa na mugu ni yeye ameita mungu kwa ile matendo yake ya kuficha gano aka attract malaika malaika akasimama akasema hebu nione hii kamutu kanafanya nini ule mwingine pale anaita shetani anaona ana wake tano kwa kitada moja malaika wa shetani anakwenda hapo na huyu naye anaficha gano malaika wa Mungu anakuja hapa anasema eh hii kamutu ni kazuri sana kwa kijana eda ukaokoe watu Matthew 9 number 35 Yesu akawaambia mavuno ni mengi obeni bwana apeleke wateda kazi But what you need is wateda kazi sababu ile kazi iko huko i'm telling you amujaona hata kitu hata kimoja ile kazi itakuwa hapa kesho you have never seen that sababu kuna kazi nimeona watu wamekatwa mikono wamefugwa na nyororo imekata mguu watu wana vitu ambazo hamjawahi kuziona na wale mnakuja muelewe kuvuja madhabahu uachane usikuje kesho don't come tomorrow if you are not going to change kama utakuwa hapa na uaburu tena vinyago usikuje sababu itakugeuka pepo mchafu akita, akitolewa anatafuta mahali pa kuingia akikosa anarudi ile hali ya yule mtu inakuwa baya kuliko ya kwanza nimekuelezea na nilikuelezea siku ingine huyo mama ameenda kwa kaburi amepona ule mambo wa, wa vistula anaelekea kaburi ni sasa amepona vistula na ukasikia mapepo zikisema zimetoka wapi akaenda akawacha gap 
akaenda akawacha gap aligojeka jana kishwa nimeambiwa hivyo kichwa 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 kufika hospitali amekufa sababu kama utakuja na hutaki kubomoa hizo madhabahu wewe kaa kwako kaa na, na pepo zako hizo mbili don't come here ule mzee wa diabetes ameniambia kesho nataka kuniona mapema maana anakojoa after six years hajawahi kukojoa ameanza kukojoa hajaenda dialysis na anaendaga bili anaendaga mara bili kwa wiki sasa hajaenda sasa ameniambia kesho nataka kuona kabla ibada ija ijafanyika wewe unafikiri ni mchezo unafikiri ni mchezo nyinyi mnafikiri ni mchezo utajua siku moja si mchezo utajua siku moja ukiwa kwa saduku si mchezo they don't joke hawachezi hawa jamaa wameamka lakini christian wamelala tu hivi sababu haija kupata nilikwambia ukianza safari ya deliverance lazima ukamilishe hiyo deliverance usifanye kati wako hapa wale mtaanza deliverance ujue ni gharama kule watu walikuedea wakauza ngombe wakauza shaba yao wakupeleke wewe unakuja hapa tu kiugaga ugaga tu after amefanywa muujiza Yesu akamwambia mwende mkatoe sadaka kwa kuandi kufuga hiyo mlango you don't care that Matthew 6:24 inasema no one can serve two masters Hakuna anayeweza kutumikia mabwana mawili mali richness and god Moja lazima ataua mwingine Huduma zinaanza zikiwa zuri sana lakini zikivika hapo bele kuna kuwa na shida ya mchecheto wa fedha wale watu wakulelewa hawana nafasi ya fe, ya huduma mtu ako na horsel na ni born again christian na hawezi pata nafasi ya kwenda kusikia neno la Mungu mtu ako na gari yake hawezi pata kulipa gharama anataka tu sadi peke yake sadi dio akuje hapo na huyo dio Mungu anategemea akaponya watu na wengine wakati ulipokuwa hauna kazi ulikuwa kilala kanisani ulikuwa kisibua pasta kila siku akuobe sasa hapo ndio kinaenda kina mwana mbele either you keep fire burning you keep fire burning nirigojeka jumaine kutoka jumaine the whole week sijatoka kwa nyumba yangu for the first time for the first time nimeenda Nairobi hospital nikapimwa nikapimwa zote nyumba tunakohoa wale watoto wadogo na mama tuna mpaka nasikia kama nimepasuka narudi hospitali napewa madawa na nikamesa mpaka nikasema ah kisira ni gani sante usiku dinaniamka jumapili jumamosi nikaenda prayer tu the whole week si kwenda prayer room ndio nilienda nikatoa sadaka prayer room ndio nikapata nafasi ya kuja hapa sandi sasa yafanyika kwa nganga hivyo na kwa kama huu inafanyika kwa nganga hivyo na kwa wewe kama huu na ndio paulo anasema muniobe muniobe ndio niweze kupata ujumbe hizi kanisa zote ziko na shida kwa sababu we don't have serious in intercessors wale intercessors wako ni mpaka mimi nije hapa nipige gita mpaka wanione hapa ndio watakuwa ni intercessor it is very wrong huduma kama hii mahali inaelekea sasa inaelekea na watu wajitoe wenyewe wawe watu ambao wanakesha kwa ajili yake maana hata shida hapa apige gita kesho wa shida hapa tena friday tena aje hapa kesha hata masaya kusikia Mungu atasikia saa gapi atabaki na ile ka message ya kurudia tu pale 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 na ndio Mungu akamwambia Musa leta watu sabini kitabu cha Deuteronomy 1 number 9 Musa akachagua watu wawe judges kasema nyinyi na nyinyi na nyinyi mkae hapo muwe mkifanya hii kazi dogo dogo hawa watu wanadugana na miba huko mfanye hizo kesi ile kesi kubwa ndio mtaniletea tutataka watu kama hao watu watakuwa na siku ya kufanya judges 
Watakuja wakae hapa nitoe siku ya wajaji sikusikiliza mtu huyo kabla ya kuja kunipelea matope huko. Amueleze maana kama ni mambo madogo huyu jaji atamwambia hiyo kitu itaisha. Hiyo we nafanya hivi na hivi itaisha sababu amepata authority kutoka kwangu. Musa akachagua watu akawaambia wakae majaji hapo. Muamuage kasi hizi dogo dogo ikiwa kubwa mtaniambia sawa. Hawakuodoka ya meodoka wakaodoka. That's why we have churches but there is no power of God. We have churches, we have to na thousands and thousands of people in the churches. And people are coming sick and they are going back home sick. Kwa sababu ya mipagilio. Sababu awesi kufanya kila kitu hui mutu. Yesu wakachagua watu sabini na wawili. Awatume kuli abako walikuwa na kusudia kwenda. Nita kuchagua sasa mimi vipi. Nikikuona leo, nikikuona kesha moja, nita kuona nyigina sijui lini. Sasa nita kuchagua na mna gani. Sibiki kerele sababu si kazi yako. Lakini na kufudisha wagalia kwa ba mungu ya nataka watu. Matthew 9 nasema, Yesu akawabia, obeni mwenye shaba alete wateda kazi. Mana kazi ni nyiki sana, saa hizi kazi ni nyiki sana. Watoto wadogo hawa munaona, watoto wa maliza, hawa, watoto wapereka jikoni. I'm telling you that. I'm telling you that from the deep of my heart. Watawaweka kwa jiko. Uliona kakijana, kana, kana control baba yake, apige mama yake. Ulikaona hapa, on Sunday. Uliona kegine, kana control watoto wegine shule. Uliona kegine hapa, kana, kana piganisha dugu yake na mke wake. Wanapigana, anakuagalia tu hivi, anasema Sikae Technology imeinuka sana Technology imeinuka, dege inatoka hapa inakweda Amerika Haiku wako zamani Simu imeigia, simu ya touch screen Lakini sisi tukotuna hile mabu ya 2000 Sasa watoto wadogo ni hawa Ni watoto wadogo hawa Deva Oshipa imeshona. Let me tell you that. Imeshona, my friend. Imeshona, it is unstoppable. Illuminati imeshona, imekamata vijana. Kuna mitadao hapa. Ya Sodom na Gomorrah. Wanajuana wenyewe. Ukikugua hapa, unamuabia tuju, sijui nani suju, nani ule. Wanajuana wenyewe, they know. Even some people you know. Watu wabao naweza kuwaona, wanafanyaga hizo vitu. Ushirikini na tineka muratina Ni spiritual matters Imeigia mpaka kwa maofisi Imeigia mpaka kwa watu wakubwa Imeigia Sodomu na Gomora I'm telling you that Iyo tuju iyo una, unasikia hiyo Deva washipa imeigia Sasa tuwakoe watu Sasa ni kuwakoa Wameigia Zimeigia mpaka zimeigia Lani ya kanisa Zinaigia hapa Kwa kanisa anaigia asha Anakuja mtu anapea pasta elifutano Kanisa ina, inakauka Ni mara ya kwanza ni mekuonesha hapa Anamsalimia tu inaeda Anakuja pasta analaa na e Akishala na e kanisa ina, ina, inakuisha Pasta kama huyu akilarwa na e Asikarizake wako wapi I'm asking question Na kuhuliza swali Mtu atoke huko aigie Aigie state house, amekuja wasimu juusi ya lipigu wa disasi huko na mapolisi Hamejifanya wasimu wata anaheda state house Kapigu wa madisasi huko Na huyu bishop mbaka watu wakalale na e Mbaka watu wa mushike walale na e Askari zake wakiroha wako wabi That's the big problem we have now Sababu hii vita watu wanafikiria ni yanganga peke yake Hii vita watu wanafikiria ni yanganga Si yanganga is a body of Jesus Christ Mimi nikipata upenyo wewe umepata Lakini sasa tumegawana kila bishop wana yake Kila pasta ana yake Kila mtu ana yake Lakini sivyo ilivyo mwenyewe Mwenyewe aliita as a body Body of Christ Mimi nikifanya miujiza Watu wanaeda all the way mpaka Nigeria All the way mpaka Nigeria kwa tibi Joshua Kwa hivyo mmoja wetu akipata upenyo, hii pesa ya kweda kwa dege tutatumia, tutafanya kazi naso. 
lakini the body is so divided even inside hata kama hapa is so divided kuna watu walio na maroho isiyo na upendo hata akiona mwingine ameanza ku kupewa nafasi ya kuhubiri kidogo kusalimia watu basi wale mnataka kusikia hiyo muombe sababu sasa mwenyewe amekasirika watoto wadogo wameshaingia hizo vitu nyumba zimefujika kanza imekuja nilikuonesha mtu wa kanza kanza imekuja nikakuonesha msiana na kwenda kinyata anakaa karibu na mgojwa anatupia mgojwa roho Mungu atusaidie tujue ulimwengu wa kiroho. Vita vyetu si vya damu na nyama tunapigana na maroho wale wabaya. Wabaya nganga alikohoa siku wiki nzima. Nganga akohoe wiki moja na wewe kama u. God is looking for this for the serious people in the ministry who will be handling simoro matters kama Deuteronomy hiyo moja nine watu ambao si lazima mimi nikuwekelee mikono ni kuambia whatever i will see your work kuna mwanamke mmoja anasikia anakuja hapa nimemwona hapa amekuwa conman na mnamuona hapa na muwezi kumuuliza Mtu yote akisimama hapa akiobewa atakuwa kesho. Akiobewa tu mtu wabaya ana ana anaonekana anakasura ana wanakamati yako hapa ije. Anamwambia ni nabii. Nimesikia alimwambia mgeni ni nabii. Ah uh, Mungu amemwambia akampatia 50,000. Akamwambia kuona nganga sijui ni 10,000 kumi Uli akampatia. Na atafanya hivyo kwa watu wakiwa wapi? Hao lakini nikiondoka nikipitia hii kajia what can i do nitafanya namna gani mimi nganga nimepiga gita mwenyewe nimehubiri mwenyewe nimefanya deliverance mwenyewe sasa tena nitoke ni ede pale ni agarie nani huyu anaogea na huyu hizi vitabaya niliwatengenezea na mimi si wasimu sijarasa hospitali nikawatengenezea hizi vitabaya ziwe ya za ministers watu ambao wakiwa wamezivaa hivi kama ni kesho kila mtu anajua mwenzake anamuona mahali huko just kuwekelea tu hiyo mwenzako anajua ni jambo sijui kuogea sio sikajifurisha kuogea mimi si mtoto mdogo mgina sema nganga ni mzuri lakini najui kuogea niogea ni sema nini wewe kinyolewa unaogeaga on, Something wakati watu wanaenda fishing wanaenda kuwinda wanavaa hiyo ukimwona mwingine pale kwa kiosi anajua wako pamoja Kama ni siku ile kuna service wanavaa hiyo nitawaona nitajua wako pale Na wataabiana na macho angalia huyu mama yuko hapa anafanya nini na huyo mgeni Kulida madhabahu na wale wadogo wanaoigia kwa ushirika. Sababu wananyanyaswa sana. Hapa huwa kuna wakora wengi sana. Wengine wanasema nimesema nisijii pesa ipeanwe gapi? Wakora wengi after nimemaliza. Watu wa magari wanagojewa hapo Jumapili. Nataka kuona security wakibadilika. Pika mtu makofi hapo tutawekea ebodi. Pika mtu makofi kabisa. Mtu akija hapa na gari yake wewe kwenda kwa, kwa governor ndiye anapeanaga pesa. Mtu anakuja anafuata na watu watano. Ate Mungu amemwambia ampatie tikiti. Hata anashiriwa hii kanisa ya nganga ni ya nini? Na wewe usipeane pesa yako mwambie kwenda kwa nganga. Wanajaria watu hapo ije. Watu wale wanataka ni watu ambao wanaweza kuchuga kanisa. Kuchuga wale watu ambao wanaokoka. Wale watu ambao ni wadogo kiroho. Kiroho ni wadogo hawajajua kutembea kiroho. Na wakipata mtu mbovu sasa atawa confuse. Hata wataweza kuachana hiyo kuokoka.
Na watu wengi sana wako hapo they are not serious with what they are doing. They are not serious. Sababu huduma kama hii haiwezi kuwa itakutana tu only Jumapili. I thank the leo kuna watu nasikia wanalaga hapa. Basi kuwe na kikudi tulisema kiaze kile kiaze hiki kiaze hiki. Dio kesho tukija hapa tukute anga anga ime imebadilika. Wale watu wako hapo mnaenda kuwafufua. Kule wale watu wako don't joke with that. Umesikia amekufa. Umesikia akikufa nganga naye alikaa kwa wiki moja kwa nyumba. Si kitu unafikiria unachesha chesa nayo. Deliverance is a ni Kenya Army. Ni ile mwisho kabisa si polisi. CAP Deliverance ni ni mwisho. Ni mwisho inataka watu wanaoifanya wawe serious. Ndio naona hawa wanasemanga tu mimi naogea vibaya. Niogee vizuri. Hakuna kucheka wakati risasi zinalia. Hakuna kucheka. Lakini kama ni kucheka bishop wako na hawa wa mapasa watacheka na wewe. Ikifika wakati wa vita ni vita maana wasikia watakupeleka. Sasa wale mwataka Mungu awatumie maana hivi ndivyo Mungu anataka. Anataka mumaanishe wherever you are I don't care. Sababu watu wanalia kule hata saa hizi nasikia watu wanalia huko wanaitana. Wanalia watu wanaitana. Watu wana mashida bao amjawai kuona. Uliona ule mtu wa Meru anakuja kesho. Amejikuna kuna na gunia miaka migapi miaka mitatu. Sasa amekuwa mzuri. Mwingine anatoka Meru na miguu, anakuja na Meru. Ule Kimathi. Alipokuja alitoka na miguu ule wa Karata, wa Gabring. Hadi kule kwa ukube uko yao wako hivyo. Alipokuja akaobewa aliporudi huko akachoma nyumba yake. Wakamwambia umeenda kwa devil washba. Na unaona anagaragara shetani hapa vile Gabbling after kushika huyo mtu ndio sasa nje kapatikana ya gabbling waka wakafungwa sababu so you have to arrest them spiritually sisi tukishika kiroho hapa polisi watashika nao huko kimwili nimesema aje kesho atafutie msaada na ni vizuri sana mamkataye very good hata mimi nilikataliwa na watu kataliwa pana mwisho wa kuishi na wewe mtu anakukataa asikutishe kwa tibu ya mama yako amkokaa na ye ulikaa peke yako hata mama yako asikutishe ulikaa kwa tibu na uwezi kurudi huko tena mtu asikutishe sasa wewe kuja kesho nitaona vile nitafanya nitakunulia mkokoteni uweze kuuza maebe huko ujitafutie mugu wako Adika hapo seven reasons of prayers jia saba sababu saba za maombi sababu saba za maombi sababu this is what i want you to know the devil is killing people early death watu wanakufa mapema watu wanapelekwa kutolewa figo zao watu wanapelekwa wanalazwa wanafinyiliwa unapata pesa inafika hapo all of a sudden imeenda tena Number one, prayer is to keep your spirit strong in the Lord. Strong in the Lord. Maobi inafanya spirit ya mtu inakuwa na gufu dani ya buwana. Number two, is to make your spirit to come closer to God. Wakati mtu wanaoba, roo yake inawezaka kutebea karibu na mungu. Inaenda ya kitebea ikikaribia the spirit of god maobi hii unaona hata uwe kiasi gani kama utakosa maobi my friend yako imeisha number tatu ya yeah, seven reasons of prayers number tatu ni to join god's army you join god's army in prayers unaingia kwa jeshi la mungu once you pray utasikia watu waliota na wewe ukiwaokoa kwaaba ni ku maobi ni kuacha mwili Matthew 17 nasema akawapeleka pale 
mlimani kisha alipokuwa naoba uso wake ukageuka Mathi 17 uso wake ukageuka bigu ikafuguka wakashuka Musa na Elijah ukiwa mtu wa kuoba bigu itafuguka utaugana na ami utaona na, ma, na malaika wata join utawa join number four is to access God's new power kwa access power mpya ya Mungu so of this is not 1962 this is not 1990 every spirit has a season there is season of that ikiisha imeisha through prayers you access the spirit of the day the spirit of that time sasa hizi mtu wa 92 72 akija hapa hata atashidwa what is this ataguka tu zamani pepo ilikuwa inaobewa wiki moja kama mjui watu walikuwa wanashikana na kanisa wanaenda kuoba one week ndio kapepo kamoja tu katolewe mimi nikiinuka 19 92 hapo hata 1980 89 pepo ilikuwa inaenda kuobewa huko msituni kwa mlima moja sasa imekuwa ni chap chap toka 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 watu walikuwa naomba mtu anakunywa maji na mwingine anakuja anakemea 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 anakunywa maji mwingine anakuja anakemea mnabadilishana unakemea toka 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 unaondoka unaenda kunywa maji na kwambia utoke 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 zilikuwa zikitolewa hivyo sasa unaitoa tu shut up na wede spirit of the day ukiwa mtu wa maobi you access god's new power god's new power kwa nini watu wanafika mahali mpaka wanashindwa kutembea? Sababu ile ulikuwa naye ime if you don't add prayers then you remain with the limited power. But if you continue praying you will have to you will have something very big if you pray. If you don't pray you remain with the limited power. Limited power. Fire 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 saka fire fire limited power but if you join prayers the more you go to the lord spirit you can't come back empty utakuja na bili utakuja na tatu utakuja the more you go the more you become stronger only what you need to know is to give time after meenda kuoba god is willing next week after meenda kuoba don't rush for the result don't rush for the result of what you went to prayer umeenda kuogeza mtu wa dani After mepewa mtu wa dani watalete mtu sasa baye mwenye hiyo power. Uliona tulienda kuobea wasimu akaletwa kutoka Bugoma. After what, two weeks tukaobea mtu wa, wa kansa. Nikasema nataka ile kansa imetaruka kabisa na nikaenda kuoba ndio ikaja yule wa Kajiado. You give time big witegeneze itafute huyo mtu ambaye atakuja kudhihirisha that power you have. Sasa nikipata wasimu sina shida nitaobea he nikipata kansa have no problem sababu so already nimekwisha ichukua na we goja tu utaona sasa niko na dialysis ndio ninakamata sasa hizi niko na dialysis huyo mzee anamgojea kesho wa dialysis hiyo number six is to hear from god to hear from god and to ask god seven things seven reasons of prayers number Naba sita ni kwenda kusikia kwa Mungu. Mungu unasemaje? Baba yangu unasema namna gani? Baba naoba unipatie upako mpya. Ni where you can say and where you can hear. In prayers hapo ndipo naweza kusikia vile Mungu anasema. Na hapo ndipo naweza kuambia Mungu. Yule akaenda akaoba akiangalia ukuta, kaambia Mungu Kubuka ile kasi nilifanya. Wakakubuka. Wakati Ahabu aliabiwa na Elija atakufa, akapasiwa nguo zake akaanza kuomba. Mungu akamwambia Elija rudi nimesikia kilio ya hiyo mse. Na mwambia hata haitampata lakini watoto wake watapatwa na hiyo. Number seven is to ask accept accept acceptance 
mwana mpotefu alipofika nyumbani kwa baba yake aliedha tu akabia baba yake sister ili kuwa mwanao lakini ni wacha tu ndiwe tu nikirisha hawa guruwe zako God is ready to hear from you Mungu anataka kuogea na watu Mungu anataka kuogea na mtu Mungu anataka kuogea na wewe He wants to talk to you Anataka kukuelezea kitu ambacho amekosa mtu wa kumuelezea Anataka kukutuma Aliniambia nikiwa Mombasa niende Nairobi I remember that day. Ilikuwa nimekaa kule Godila siku sita. Sauti kaniambia sasa wedi Nairobi. Nilikuwa na kanisa kama hii nikaiwacha tu nikaenda zangu. Sababu wito imenisukuma. Najua Mungu anaweza kila jambo. mwana mpotefu hawezi hawezi kubaliwa isipokuwa apitie maombi na kuoba baba yangu hata ile haki yangu nilipotesa lakini nifanye tu niwe kama one of these workers baba yake akasema hakuna kitu kama hiyo mwanangu rudi tu pesa nitapata ingine wewe kuja you can ask god that Yes I'm rejected by everybody. God accept me how I am. Nataka kuongea kuhusu power na utenda kazi wa rohoni sababu hiyo ndio mzigo ambao Mungu amenipatia. Hizi kazi zimekwama kiasi kwa sababu kuna sehemu kubwa ambayo haina mtu. Na wale wanaoniangalia wanaona kama vita ni vyangu peke yangu. Kama ni yangu na mama yangu peke yake. Lakini Mungu atatengeneza jia. Kama nimefika hapa. Maandiko yanasema katika Esther 4 na msari wa 15. Habari zikatokezea Wayahudi watauawa. Mordekai akaja akamwambia Esther Mambo imeharibika sasa. Mambo imeharibika sasa. There is power in prayers. You can change your tomorrow. You can change your destiny. You can change. Oh God. Lord, I thank you for the vision you had before I was born. May the glory and the honor be to the Lord. My last breath is in your hands. Esther akamwambia Mordekai sasa wao unajua vile ilivyo gumu kuingia kwa mfalme. Unajua vile mambo ni gumu sana wewe Mordekai kwenda kwa mfalme. Haikuwa inaedwa hivi hivi. Ukienda tu kama hata kuonesha ile fimbo. Wao meenda kwa kaburi hata kama wewe ni nani? Esther akamwambia Mordekai, sasa mnajua mimi hata kama ni malikia sijaruhusiwa kwenda kwa mfalme. Lakini nadeni mnifugie. Mwende mniobe na mimi na wajakazi wangu tutaomba. Mwende mnifugie siku tatu na mimi na na wasichana wangu hawa tutafuga. Esther akaenda akafuga na wasichana wake siku tatu. Siku tatu zilipoisha akaadoka. Oh God, maobi ikiobwa na mtu anajua utaona faida yake. Au utaiona faida yake ukiwa kwa kaburi. Esther akaoga 
akavaa mavasi yake akaondoka liwalo na liwe na liwe na liwalo lakini mkono wa bwana ulikuwa umemtangulia mfalme akamwonyesha ile fimbo akamwambia malikia chochote utakachotaka utapewa hata kama ni nusu ya ufalme malikia akamwambia kama nimepata kibali na uje kwangu upate chakula na muje na huyu wakaenda siku hiyo esa akawapikia chakula mfalme akamwambia ni kitu gani malikia akamwambia kama nimepata kibali uje kesho na uje na huyu pia lokosha kataka the following day akamwambia nimeumizwa na huyu mtu ameua watu wangu mstari wa tisa nasema hivi esta tisa na mstari esta nane na mstari wa 10 na Esta nane na mstari wa 15 nasema Mordekai akatoka Mordekai akatoka usoni kwa mfalme amevaa mavazi ya kifalme ya rangi ya samawi na nyeupe mwenye taji kubwa ya dhahabu na joho kitani safi na rangi ya zambarau mji wa Shusheni wakapasa sauti wakishagiria ikawa nuru ya furaha na shangwe na heshima kwa Wayahudi na katika kila kijiji na kila mji popote palipo wasili amri ya mfalme na mbiu yake Wayahudi wakapata furaha na shangwe karamu na sikukuu hata wengi wa watu wa nchi wakajifanya Wayahudi kwa kuwa hofu ya Wayahudi ili wa geukia Nasema there is power in prayers Unaweza kosa chakula Unaweza kosa nguo nzuri Unaweza kosa marafiki My brother and my sister usikose maombi Unaweza letea watu freedom from cage of life Ni heli ukose fedha ni heli ukose marafiki ni heli ukose nguo mpya lakini ubaki na maombi sababu maombi kule itaingia hizo nguo aziwezi zikaingia Esta alioba naye akabadilisha akiri za mfalme ule mti ambao alikuwa atudikwe Mordecai mti huo ukatudika wale ambao hawakumpenda Mordecai Simama na miguu yako Sogea hapa tushukuru Bwana kwa sababu ya masa Maobi inaweza kutengenezea kiti ambacho hautapokonywa na mtu awaye yote So get hapa tuombe you can change your tomorrow unaweza oba tu kipata kibali laana yao aita kupata ile kifo alikuwa amewekea modekai kikaenda kwa hamani pamoja na nyumba yake nataka tu ukaribie mbele za bwana ufugue moyo wako tu na usiweke uchugu ndani Ufugue moyo wako tu. Umwambie baba yangu ikiwa unaona ninastahili ni sawa. Sonny Bob.
Oh
sasa ingia ni kwa kazi ya kesho ingia kazi ya kesho ingia kazi ya kesho shikeni mateka pembe zote nne shika mateka kila kona shika mateka ingia kazi ya kesho ushikwa leo tunashika mateka kila roho ya pepo kila roho ya accident kila roho ya kuwa kila roho ya majini tunawakamata mateka katika jina la Yesu kila sababu zote ambazo ibilisi ameinua hazitakuwa na uwezo ninasambaratisha ninapomoa binu zote walizonazo nimewashika mateka katika jina la Yesu kule kuzimu nimeachilia moto moto unaochoma nimeharibu mbingwe pingu zote ambazo ibilisi ametumia walio kamatwa wanaokaa katika giza ninaachilia kuachiliwa kwao katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu madhabahu ya shetani ninaibo moa madhabahu ya machini na ibomoa madhabahu ya iluminati na ibomoa madhabahu ya devil worshiper na ibomoa katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu roho za mizimu roho za iluminati roho za devil worshiper i come against your power in the name of the lord katika jina la Yesu mateka walioshikwa na waacha uhuru mateka walioshikwa mateka wa kansa na waacha uhuru mateka wa dialysis na waweka uhuru mateka ya wazimu na waweka uhuru walioshikwa kule hospitali na waweka uhuru katika jina la Yesu kila dhabihu iliyofanywa haitakuwa na uwezo kila matambiko tambiko ambacho ibilisi alifanya kinyume hazina uwezo damu ya mwagwa damu ya mbuzi ilio mwagwa wanyama walio chinjwa kushinjiwa shetani hiyo naishabaratisha katika jina la Yesu majina yetu na itakasa majina yetu kwa damu ya Yesu na takasa jina la neno kwa damu ya Yesu na takasa jina langu kwa damu ya Yesu kila mahali ambapo ibilisi anahitaja moto utashuka moto utashuka moto utashuka moto unashuka kule nyumbani na Chilia, all over the country all over all over all over seven counties seven counties seven counties seven 47 counties 47 counties Nigeria blood of Jesus Nigeria salvation usikwa leo hawatalala maadui hawatafanya kazi zao katika jina la Yesu i pour down every structure of the enemy kila mpango walio nao na Mwa, kila mbinu alizo nazo na ziba moa we mkuu anga ya Kenya na kukamata leo we mkuu Afrika na kukamata leo we unayetoka Korea na kukamata leo we unayetoka katika China na kukamata leo katika jina la Yesu kila roho inainiwa shetani i pull you down i pull you down in the name of Jesus ninaachilia macho naachilia moto kule Mombasa barini kule Mombasa barini kule kuzimu na chama na moto na chama na moto na chama na moto na chama na moto kila makao makao ya wachawi na chama na moto makao ya wachawi na chama na moto walioingia nyumba hii wakiwa na kinyume na chama na moto wanaokuja usiku wanazunguka hii nyumba na chama na moto nimewakamata mateka na kamata mateka na kamata mateka kila roho ya limitation 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 inaozuia watu kuokoka inaozuia watu wasiende kanisa i come against you now in the name of the lord 
kill a royal people, limitation, demonic forces. We lend you powerless in the name of the Lord. Then I know a yes, I know a yes, I know a yes, I know a one of a mongo. I see a minute, we both were counted. Now we see what can scare. We went to a catembe, Kadika Jina Rais, Nachia Manabi, Manabi, what you come at one of our horror, Kadika Jina Rais, Nachia Matenda Kas, Nakamata and Falmen, Nakamata and Falmen, Nagauza Mawasa and Falme, Kadika Jina Rais, Nagauza Mawasa and Falme, in the mighty name of the Lord, Kadika Jina Rais, Kira Utawala Giza, Kira Utawala Giza. Kila bini wa nizamasu Hasina wesho Hasina wesho Hasina wesho Hasina wesho Hasina wesho Kadega jina la yesho Kadega jina la yesho Kila roya pepo Kila roya wachawi Maroza devo washipa I render you powerless Na achiria nema Na achiria watu kwa koka Na achiria wana okoka Yesu wana okoka Watu wana okoka Watu wana ponywa Watu wana kombolewa Nika na muadani, moto wa mwere na ekonoga. Tuli nika na muadani, ando wa mwere na mekonoga. Nika na muadani, moto wa mwere ana enda. Kobo kema ba, moto wa mwere ana ndoka. Bayangu wa bingoni. Tuwa mweri ana onda kwa Wapa ne mesi mama Tuwa mweri ana onda kwa Baba yangu wa mbingonie Tuwa mweri ana onda kwa Iri ya usana Iri ya Safisha jina lako kwa dambi ya Yesu Clean your name, sogea hapa sasa Sogea hapa Oh, alleluia You are alpha and omega We worship you our Lord You are worthy so be praised You are alpha you are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy, so be praised. Lift up your hands. Jita futi esa sa watenda kazi hapa. Kama ni livyo kwa idi au takosa mama na mzee na kijana alietari. Wewe Kristo mwana wa Mungu wewe ndiye ndiye mchagua ulichagua Petero hata Paulo ni wewe mchagua Nema yako iwe juu ya watoto hawa They love you Jesus We love you God We love you Holy Spirit of the Lord Yes my father Yes King and God Almighty Tembelea watu hawa Wakabidhi kila mtu kadi yake ya wito. Wakabidhi kila mtu kadi ya wito. Wakabidhi kila mtu kadi ya wito. Kadi ya wito. Ninaachilia huduma zivufuke sasa. Na kuhudhuria spiritual obstacle. Chochote ambacho ibilisi alikuwa ameweka kwako sasa umepita hiyo masaa. Umepita nao. In the name of Jesus. Umepita hiyo dakika amechelewa. Nema ya Bwana iko juu yako. Wherever you are, wherever you are, wherever you are. Thank you Father. Thank you Jesus. Thank you. Tumpatie Bwana sadaka ya makofi. I I want us to do this. Eh? Matika nasema katika Matthew 24. Watatokea makristo wa uogo. Manabii wa uogo wakijaribu kwa nasa wateule. Na kwa vile maduka nasema watu wa kwenye watano. We, kwa nini hatuwezi kuformu watu watano? 
we uwe na grupu yako watu watano next time nikikuona uniabie me i have five people sitaki nikushagulie maana sijui nataka mjuuge leo watu watano wa kwenyu watafukusa watu watano tu size tugemaliza mgeshika na mkono roundi watu watano muoge 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 wengine watano pale wengine watano pale wakati watu wanaenda kwa huduma roho zinatiana gufu kama huyu ako na mia moja na huyu mwingine ako na 40 hiyo 40 inakuja na saidia huyu ya juu hiyo ndio muhimu wa kuwa na ushirika kwa jia nyingine ni kurete roho pamoja kuliko uende kama mtu kamoja watu wawili ama watatu wakiwa pamoja atakuwa kwa so when you come two or three or five you become something ile kitu mtu agepewa kwa sababu ye ni mtu moja sasa mnapewa mkiwa nyote hamwezi mkachijiwa kuku kuku moja hamwezi lakini mutachijiwa ngobe mkiwa wegi zaidi haimwezi kuchijiwa ngobe moja mutachijiwa ngobe bili that's how it is secret sasa kama watu waki unite forget your differences wa unite wawe kitu kimoja wabiane leo usiku mimi taanza sahi na wewe wangkari safrani na wewe safrani just you dedicate that day ya Wednesday unamuko unapika 45 minute yako video mwari agree ule nae anachukua ama muna kubali ya nanyote muna biana tunaanza saa nane na robo unatuma message nisa umepata ni mepata haya tuanze munaanza muna piga you will see change within yourself kutawana mabu ikitedeka kutoka kwako sababu kipimo kire apimacho mtu dicho atakacho pimiwa wezi pimia watu pimia watu kila siku weo naobea watu alafu wewe doka nale kenyata it can't work wezi kuwa ni mugu nilikojeka Tuesday very serious nikikuwabia hivyo mimi si mzoefu wa magojwa iyo kuoba si kuoba tagu Tuesday mpaka Saturday night mpaka nekarudi spitali tena kipimo kile unapima Dio huda kama bia kubuka hile kasi nilifanya nikiwa kijana There is time will come Iyo mina kwa bia dio utatumia siku hiyo Iyo na kwa bia dio utatumia siku hiyo Kama bia kubuka hile kasi nilifanya nikiwa kijana Na wale muku nyubani Unapotuma hii sadaka Utaona hile kasi inafanywa kesho I thank God to mepata watu Saizi TV meeda Kenya nzima Inaigia 2 million per month 2 million, uwezi kuachia hii kanisa 2 million, but I thank God kuna watu mba wame jitolea. Ata sisi tu inuwe benihini hapa. Ata sisi tu muone mugu hapa. Sabu awezi kuwa ni mugu aazishe kwa mkokoteni ya fikisha hapa imushide, ata fikisha pale. Next week, ama wale mtakuja Friday, mkiwa watu watano mnipatia jina enyo. Group minda wapatia group. Kuniadikia wagari mwagi jogona group 1. Mimi tawapatia hiyo. Hiyo group jina. Zote. Di wakati tunapeana kasi. Mwaza kusema group A na B na C mufanya hivi. Si lazima tutagazi hapa kwa television. No. Gine ukitagaza wanakada kufanya inakuwa na kazi kubwa. Tukimaliza tunabiana hapa tu. Nini group hui mfanya hivi, nini mfanya hivi mfanya hivi. Mfanyi hivi You will see a lot of change Na hiyo diyo nasikia mungu ya nataka wafanyi kazi Si mimi ya nataka Mimi niko Anasema askari Akawabia Joshua chukua askari Mwende nao kuli na mewapatia Joshua di anasikia lakini askari wanakweda nao Ibrahim walikuwa na watu miatatu Na kumina nane Ye akutupa mshare lakini wale watu Inasema katika judges 3-6 all the way Wakati walimudilia mugu aliwainulia muokozi Onetheri Na ye alipokuwa vitani na watu Wakieda vitani Watu wanashida vita Alipokufa wakarudi kwa mwaba yao So he's a spiritual leader Kazi yake ata siku siku pika mshare Aha Lakini akiwa hapo Uwepo wake ikiwa hapo Anapatia mshare yako strong Na wale wanakuwa confused Shika sadaka yako Tumemaliza hiyo Next time Next week I want Jeshitano, tuwanzie hapo Tukifika Jeshitano Sijumi itakuwa wa Jeshigani Itakuwa moja yake tu Shika sadaka yako 
Usiku mkubuke ya tuamuke. Let us pray at night. Kuna miujize na kuja. Kuna kazi ya bazo ziko so sensitive. Zina kuja. Hmm? Ule pepo walikuwa me kibisana na magazeti na whatever. Sasa meenda kaburini. Hatuwezi tena. Tumesha jaza all over. Tumejaza. Hakuna maligine. Tuko bondo. Tuko malindi. Tuko meru. Tuko tharaka. Nithi. Nirikuwa jana kwa nini. Life. Every corner. Na watu wanaona hii TV. Mama moja ameniabia. Bwana haki alimuabia. Nikitukani hiyo naona. Kabia we. Kama watu natuko sane. Mabu ya imani we. Kasema sima hii kitu. Kama moja haita zimwa. Kwa nini inazimwa? Si watoto wanaona milio ni naona. Ati bwana haki akawacha. Nikamuabia. Hapo ni sawa. Saigino sikae mujiga sana. Ati katiba hiku. Inaruhusu mtu kwa budu kiri anataka. Hallelujah. Na unaona na wae gina kanebia buwana yake ya ni mkatasa. Leo leo. Alikuwa na mkatasa. Siku moja akakuta wakati niku na deliverance. Ati buwana yake ya kagalia hivi. Kagalia. Kajifanya hivi ya kagalia. Ati mwisho wakakuta. Hame ya kagalia. Sasa hiyo diyo inaonagwa huko. Hello. Buwana atategeneza jia. Atategeneza jia tu. Amen. Thank you very much. Shika sadaka yako inuwa juu. Baba wetu ishia milele mungu mtakatifu ni mekusogezea jeshi lako. Sijui roho zao, wewe diyo na jua roho zao. Na waba kristo, wape gufu ya kustamiri. Majaribu na vita ziri ya bazo wanapitia. Waruhusu wakaya dani yako na wawo kaya dani yao. Siku moja watakuona. Wataanza kuona hile kasi umeteda ata huko nyubane. Pokia sadaka ili utubariki. Ni kwa jina lese kristu. Buwana wati tumeomba. Sema amen. Angalia kwanza hapa. You see? This is nganga. Siju nitaziweka wapi hizi. Idio hile krasi nilikuwa. Hapa ije. Siju kama inaweza kuona. Nitajua vile nitazifanya. Hii diyo class, hii diyo nilikuwa. Hii, hii ni duka yagu. Hapa ni gorila. Hapa ni naubiri. Hapa ni pastanganga. Sema nitaeda bali. Na hapa ni ni chandaria. Chane kuwana shegine. Jone nakuwa bia unaeda bali. Don't panic. Don't panic. Wow, si chido na watu. Sasa hii ni Nairobi. Hii diyo Nairobi hapa. Nimekana hii uniform. Hii diyo Nairobi hapa muko. Sika menasa kwa nakana. Hii ni Nairobi hapa na diyo hii. Hapa. Hapa ni Rerwe. Hapa ni mimi. Nona uyu mutu kama mkojwa mkojwa uyu. Ni mimi. Sina HIV. Ni kamwiri karikuwa kameda. Hapa ni kibwezi. Kibwesi, diyo nilikuwa nimeenda hapa Kibwesi Hii ni Nairobi hii Nita kutakinazia vizuri Let us say the grace And the grace of our Jesus Christ The love of God And the fellowship of the Holy Spirit With us now and forevermore Sema Amen Weka sadaka yako hapo tukutane usiku Tukutane tafadhali Ato kisikia usigizi weji Uze tukidogo Mention my name Thank you Tazama, Sasa TV, Tazama Mbele.